What's up guys, welcome back. Got another video for y'all today. This is how to replace the window regulator in your Jeep Cherokee. Now, I got this one from Amazon and it, it's apparently zip tied in there. So 60 bucks. Um, so we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna try to replace the one in the, this is the driver's side. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna go to the Jeep in a sec and uh, start taking things off. Okay, so to start it off, we're gonna have to remove this screw, this screw, these two screws, and this screw. I just wanted to have it. So it's one, two, three, four, five screws, and then the door panel should just pop out. Um, you lift it up. So I'm gonna remove the screws and show you how that works. Now that you have your screws out, set them to the side, and then this should just pull up. So you start from the bottom, there's little clips you have to pop out. So they just pop out. And then there's a little lip right here and you just pull up on it. If I can do it with one hand. See, how it just slides right up. And then you're gonna have to disconnect the little mechanism for these. And so, yeah, you just have to disconnect these. When all you do is you push them forward and do it with one hand again. You push them forward and they pop out pretty easy. And then remove these clips right here as well. And then this panel should come off. With our door panel set to this side, now we can <clears throat> start working this out of the way. Try not to tear it, um, cause it does help with sound dampening. But uh, yeah, once we get this out of the way, it just kind of stuck on there. You can see some bolts. So let me move this and then we'll uh, we'll take care of this. Okay, so to remove this, you're gonna want to tape up your window so it doesn't fall. And then to separate it from the window right here, you're gonna take a wrench and you're gonna pop these free. And there's another one right here. Um, so you release that from the window from the glass and make sure you don't break it, have it held up so it doesn't fall. And then you have two right here and um, then also right here. They're all tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll take all those out and go from there. Okay, now that you have all your bolts out, this will just pop out and you're gonna want to disconnect that. You can see it's one of these little red clip kind of things. So you have to, you have to kind of fi fidget with that and get this red clip out and then it'll come out. Now this is gonna be easy to get out. Just take it to the side and pull it out through here. And then same thing with this. So once you get this clip out, it should really just come right out. As you can see, there is this little top piece right here. But uh, like I said, if, if you just wiggle it enough, it'll pop out. So let's, I'm gonna try to get this clip undone. You can see it's really difficult to get to. But, so you pop it out like that. There you go. And then you just pull once you get this red clip out. But I can't do it right now. Um, so I got the clip out. One thing I forgot to mention is right here, this is connected. Um, so you're gonna have to break that free. And I think that's the only place it's connected at. So just stick a screwdriver in there and pop that out. And then this will fold and you can pull everything out. Okay, so I fought with it. And like I said, all you wanna do is fold it to the side and it pops right out. It was super easy. Um, so next up, we're going to be taking this out and we're going to be getting this installed. Now, if you see, mine was stuck at the top. They have it down at the bottom already. So that's actually pretty convenient because um, it'll make it easier to install. And um, they also have new screws for these, um, but they don't have the nuts for the, uh, the motor. So hold on to the nuts. Um, if you order the Amazon one that I'm going to link in the description. But yeah, so I'm gonna stick this in um, and connect it up and show you how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I freed up the motor. Um, you can see I got it right here. And now all we're gonna do is start it um, from the top is what I'm gonna plan on doing and stick it in there and then cram the rest of it in there and line everything up. Make sure to take out your bolts before you stick it in because that would be a pain. Um, 
You can also start them and then like slide it in place. Uh, there's a couple ways to do that, but yeah, I'm just gonna start with this, stick it up straight through, and then kind of wiggle it around until I get it where I need it to be. Okay, now that all the bolts are back in, except for the one in the glass, it is time to reconnect this. So just pop this back in place um, like you took it off. This is a uh, kind of an important step, so don't forget it. And then lock it with the red piece. Um, this one doesn't have the little thing to hold it in place. Or uh, it does actually. So you slide, make sure to slide it back in the uh, the little the little holder so it doesn't get caught up on the window. I'll do that off camera. And then um, the last part is to it would help if I had someone with me, but untape your window, slide it down, and then just put the screws back in, or the bolts back in, um, and then you're good to go. We'll test it out. I'll show you everything working, but this has been a super simple install. And the final part of the install, I uh, took the tape off, slid it into place. It's on this set on its own. And then you just stick these bolts right back where you got them, and you should be good to go. Um, Look at that. Tighten that down, and then we'll test out the window when I get the door panel back on. But yeah, it's super simple. And I got it up. This switch is messed up too, which I figured out. Um, but if I mess with this enough and spam it, it'll work. Um, I ordered another switch. They're like 20 bucks. That might have been my problem all along. But uh, I did get the window to go up, which is great because I don't have to worry about the... Uh, the rain anymore coming in but it works fine um check your check your switch first um because these are a big a big problem uh it's good to replace anyway before you spend 60 dollars on a regulator because i might have not needed that we'll find out um it doesn't hurt to have a new one though because i'm gonna keep this thing for a long time and i guess i have a backup now um sorry i can't show it rolling up and down because well my jeep is pile of junk but uh thanks for watching i hope this somewhat helped you remember just stick everything in back in place like you took it off it's super easy um and yeah enjoy your jeep